welcome all my dear friends let us continue our journey in the world of ipr by a series of question sets of the patents act 1970 and the patents rules 2003 questions only can give us freedom from our mental cages so never stop questioning okay so with this beautiful thought let us continue our journey in the question series welcome all my dear friends let us continue our journey in the world of patents okay so here you can see the key term here written is opposition okay and in the picture we can see there are very two beautiful roses but yeah both are not similar okay so as they are having different properties different features opposition can happen okay so here the key term i have taken is opposition okay and a great man has said it is opposition which foretells success where there is no opposition there is no success either that means success opposition is not bad opposition is also needed sometimes some many more examples can be given that for a democracy uh, opposition is needed so many things are there we can say so literally literally we can uh, cite various examples on opposition okay so here just take a look what happens huh? that means this flower is opposing this flower okay just a symbolic picture nothing else why i am telling all these things because the form number we are going to discuss today is form number 14 okay so till now we have discussed about all the relevant sections and uh, rules based on up to actually up to form number 13 that means form number up to form number 13 we have completed all the relevant rules and sections okay so today is the turn for form number 14 and form number 14 talks about opposition okay that's why i have told you so many things okay so this is the literary world this is the nature we can say but we will go to our legal world and see and observe and watch how the term opposition has a very significant value there okay so let us continue go to form number 14 the title is notice of opposition to amendment or restoration or surrender of patent or grant of compulsory license or revision of terms thereof or to a correction of clerical errors so all these things are included here in form 14 it is a lengthy one the title is a lengthy one okay and the related sections and rules are also um, we can say the number is more sections related are the related sections are 57 61 63 78 and 87 and the related rules are 81 85 87 98 101 and 124 fine so here let us um, briefly describe the related sections section 57 says amendment of application and specification or any document related thereto before the controller section 61 is procedure for disposal of applications for restoration of lapsed patent patents section 63 is surrender of patents and the title of section 78 is power of controller to correct clerical errors etc section 87 procedure for dealing with applications under section 84 and 85 okay and the related rules we will discuss briefly rule 81 says amendment of application specification or any document relating thereto 
Rule 85 says opposition to restoration under section 61. Rule 87 is surrender of patents. Rule 98 is notice of opposition under section 87 subsection 2. Rule 101 is procedure to be followed in case of application under section 88 subsection 4. Rule 124 is manner and time of opposition to the making of corrections. So you can see as a whole here there are a number of keywords. One keyword is amendment, one is restoration, one is surrender, grant of compulsory license, revision of terms, correction of clerical errors, so, errors, so many terms are there. And here you can relate these terms here, section 57 amendment of application, rule 81 amend, amendment of application, okay. And here section 63 is surrender of patents and here rule 87 is surrender of patents. Fine. So similarly, you can relate all this, uh, particularly the subsections of the sections and the subrules of the rules with this form number 14. So let us proceed to form number. After refreshing our memory from the old slide about form number 14 and its relevant sections and rules, it automatically comes to our mind that if form number 14 talks about opposition, then also that means earlier we have also read about some more forms which were talking about the term opposition. Yes, it automatically comes. So, that's why I have prepared a table here for comparison. Okay, so let us see. Form number 7, the title is Notice of Opposition. Form number 7A, the title is Representation for Opposition to Grant of Patent. And form number 14 says, Notice of Opposition to Amendment or Restoration or Surrender of Patent or Grant of Compulsory License or Revision of Terms thereof or to a Correction of Clerical Errors. Okay. So, when you compare these three forms, I think it will be crystal clear for you to differentiate between the three and you will not be confused anymore. Okay friends, that's why I have tried to um, compare all the three forms here for a clear understanding. Fine, now it's the time to talk about the specific word. Now it's the Time to talk about the specific section. If we go to our the old slide where we have discussed about the form number 14 and that means where we were actually establishing the relationship between form 14 and rules and sections, relevant rules and sections, there we can find that the first section we need to talk about is section number 57. Okay, but in our earlier lectures, I have already prepared that uh, PPT on the form, on the section number 57 in a detailed manner. So, no need, no need to go to details on, form, uh, details on uh, section 57. You can go to that particular video lecture. For a detailed explanation. Okay, that's why we will jump up here to section 61. Okay, so let us continue. After refreshing our memory from the old slides, let us continue with our question series. Question number one. Surrender of patents is the subject matter addressed in which section of the Patents Act 1970? The answer is section 63. So, please refer section 63 of the Patents Act 1970. Okay. So, let us proceed. Question number 2. A patentee may at any time by giving notice in the prescribed manner to the controller offer to surrender his patent. Is this true? Yes. The answer is 100% true and for this please refer section 63 subsection 1 of the Patents Act 1970. Fine. Question number 3. Where an offer is made under section 63 subsection 1 
The controller publishes the offer in the prescribed manner and also notifies every person along with the patent team whose name appears in the registrar, sorry, in the register as having an interest in the patent. Is this true? Yes. No, no, no. Actually, the answer is false. The answer is false. And why this is false? Let me tell you, friends. Just a second. See. The answer should be false because of this word that is in yellow. Fine. So, the correct replacement or the correct substitution will be what I am writing now. Fine. So, instead of along with, the correct replacement should be other than. So, I am reading it again. Where an offer is made under section 63 subsection 1, the controller publishes the offer in the prescribed manner and also notifies every person other than the patentee whose name whose name appears in the register as having an interest in the patent. If the statement would have been like this, then this statement was or this, uh, this is a true statement we can say. But as uh, the uh, actually in this statement, in the given statement, the answer or we can say the words are along with instead of other than that's why the answer will be false nothing else okay that means we can say here the patentee is not notified fine so uh, to be more sure for your answer please refer section 63 subsection 2 of the patent set 1970 fine i hope it is much clear now fine now, question number four. Any person interested within the prescribed period after the publication under section 63, subsection 2 gives notice to the controller of opposition to the surrender and where any such notice is given, the controller notifies the patentee. Is this true? Yes, the statement is 100% true. And for this, please refer section 63, subsection 3 of the Patent Act 1970. Fine? Now, question number five. If the controller is satisfied after hearing the patentee and any opponent, if desirous of being heard, that the patent may properly be surrendered, he may accept the offer and by order revoke the patent. Is this true? Yes, this statement is also 100% true. Okay, so for this, please refer section 63, subsection 4 of the Patent Act 1975. Fine? Okay, now we will go to question number 6. Notice of opposition to amendment or restoration or surrender of patent, grant of compulsory license or revision of terms thereof or to a correction of clerical errors. Okay. Now, this statement is the subject matter of which form? The answer is form number 14. Okay. Where we can say form number 14 is notice of opposition to amendment or restoration or surrender of patent or grant of compulsory license or revision of terms thereof or a correction of clerical errors. For this, I have also given the old slide here where we had tried to establish the relationship between the, okay, between the relevant sections, forms, as relevant sections, rules and the form. Fine. Okay. Let us proceed. Question number 7. Which rule is closely associated with section 63, subsection 3? The answer is rule number 87. So, please refer rule 87, sub rule 2 of the patents rules 2003, where rule 87 is surrender of patents. Fine. Question number 8. Which rule is closely associated with section 63, subsection 4? The answer is rule number 87. So, please refer rule 87, sub rule 4 of the patents rules 2003 where rule 87 is surrender of patents fine now question number nine an opponent may be a person to whom license has been given under the patent is this statement true yes this statement is absolutely true and to be more sure to be 100 percent sure for your answer please refer rule 87 sub rule 4 of the patents rule 2003 where rule number 87 is surrender of patents fine now, the last but the most awaited question, that is question number 10. 
Chapter 12 of the Patents Act 1970 bears the title Surrender and Revocation of Patent. What is the range of the sections? What is the range of the sections? The answer is starting from section 63 and ending at section 66. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed the question series today. Um, please go through all the slides. Please go through the direct. If you are getting stuck anywhere, please refer to the individual video lectures. Okay friends, keep learning, keep enjoying. Fine. The reference is Patents Act 1970 as amended by Amendment Act 2005 and the Patents Rules 2003 as amended by Amendment Rules 2021. Okay friends, thank you all for watching my video and listening to me. Okay, so please like, share and subscribe the channel and please put down your compliments, comments and queries in the comment box. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. Stay safe, stay blessed. Jai.